looky, looky, I've got it here and I'm going to show it to you now. Nature's own high-tech wonder, static electricity. <laughs> <laughs> fun with science that you can do at home just find a balloon fill it with air rub it in a head full of hair oh jay you might want to invite someone over to help you with this part <laughs> rub 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 the balloon charging it with immense amounts of static electricity whoa throwing a gag from the novelty shop if you like and then find a wall or a big blackboard if you have one and witness the wonder of static electricity Whoa, we weren't expecting that. 311, that's not it, is it? No. Well, they're getting lower. Okay. 305. 310. 303, here we go. Oh. All right, so it wasn't that good, but it didn't take that long. No, where are you going? No, don't leave me like this. You can't do it. Oh, it's funny now, but you're going to regret this later. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But soon. And for the rest of your life. Right. <laughs> Nose to the grindstone, shoulder to the wheel, head to the wall. My kind of guy. You. You. Corrupter of innocent minds. You defiler of the scientific tradition. You ivory tower airhead. You running dog corporate lackey. You grown up. Sir, have gone too far. Take that! Whoa! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ooh, ooh. No, I'm too fast for you. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh. Hi. Hello. You must be Ellen. I'm Ginny Brooker. Hi. Hi. Nice to finally meet you. How long has this been going on? About 15 years. Ever since they were roommates. And they've told us a lot about you. I take it you two are serious. We have our moments. Take that! Oh. My buddy, project designer at Ryan Bloom Labs. Hot stuff. I'm not a project designer. I'm a program analyst. Stop putting yourself down. You're at the best research lab in the country. How am I supposed to impress my friends with your success if you insist on telling the truth? The character flaw I'm trying to work on. Are the mashed potatoes any good? I don't know. That's the tapioca. Whew. <laughs> Some things remain eternal. Cafeteria food, for one. <sighs> Let's get a table. We need to talk. Go grab a table out on the patio. I'm sure the guys have tons of things they want to catch up on. Well, I'm sure they do, and that's what I want to hear. That's a part of Henry's life I don't know anything about. But they're not going to tell you the good stuff. I mean, they won't tell you how they convinced the school to hold the line on library fees. Well, library fees sound kind of dull, frankly. Even if it involved Henry's imitation of Lady Godiva? Riding through the streets of Coventry? No, Henry wouldn't. Actually, he might. Uh, uh, wait up. So what's it like at Rhyme Blue? I mean, is it funky and bearded and everybody looks like Spielberg? Or is it button up, button down? What do you got there? Why don't you come over there and see for yourself? Well, I'd love to, Jack, but you know I got finals in a couple of weeks. I'm talking about coming out there and taking a job. Taking over. Look at my ear. Do I have a lot of wax filled up in there? I didn't know you had a bad ear, Henry. Well, I must, because I could have sworn I heard you say that you wanted me to come out and take over for you at Rheinblum. That's exactly what I did say. It's an offer, Henry. Henry, this is great. Nah, it's small potatoes to someone who spent six years at the Rheinblum lab. It's not home, but it's much. Yeah. Where do you keep your sugar? It's in the jar marked flour. Well, I'm, I'm trying not to eat any sugar, and I, and I never eat white flour, so it helps to switch the jars, although occasionally a friend will put flour in their coffee, and then you get this kind of caffeine paste, which is really different. Now, who is this guy? That's Albert. He is my pride and joy. He grades papers and reminds me of appointments. He's a nag without a charge card. 
How's class doing, Albert? Overall class percentage is up. Nine percent. <laughs> That's great. Why don't you uh, work on your opening moves? Don't mind if I do. That's great. Must seem kind of primitive compared with the Brooker programming style. Former programming style. Meaning what? Things change, Henry. You spend enough years creating for someone else pretty soon. You're not creating at all. You're just finding ways to avoid failure. Hey, you've never been afraid of failure. Like I said, Henry, things change. I think it's called burnout. Well, that's temporary. Maybe, but it's still very real. And that's why you're asking me to fill in for you at Rhyme Bloom. Bingo. Well, I'd say you should have asked Einstein. Of course, he's got an unlisted number, and it's a toll call. Jenny, can I help you with that? No. You got it covered, Henry. Thank you. Well, I'm sure Ellen needs a food tester for the brownies, and I'm good at that, so we'll be back in a flash. He's not going to get hurt. I didn't say anything. You didn't speak, but there was ample communication. Guess what? What? I'm filling in for Jack at Ryan Bloom for a couple of days. You what? I'm filling in for Jack at the best research lab on the coast. Maybe on both coasts. Isn't that great? Well, what about your classes, Henry? You're a teacher. Sure, I'm a teacher. I'll be a teacher next week. I'll be a teacher next year. I'll be a teacher 20 years from now. But I won't be a teacher who wondered if he was hiding. I'll be a teacher who knows that he could have cut it in the big leagues. I think this calls for a toast. No, thanks. I don't want anything. Ah, sure you do. You just don't know it yet. You put flubber in a kiln for 24 hours and it turns transparent. It's not flying rubber. It's flying glass. I think I'll call it flask. What do you think? I think you're swell. Ryan Bloom Labs, here I come. Jenny, if I tell him the real reason, it might take some of the bloom off the rose. He's really excited about seeing how things work at Ryan Bloom. Be ashamed to spoil it for him. Besides, we need the job. Jack, here's the problem. Henry is sweet and dear. And when he finds out why you're doing this, he'll forgive you. I love you. I'm your wife. You're the father of this baby. And I'll forgive you. But you know you're using Henry. And you know what that might do to the friendship. Can you forgive you? Hey, 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 I'm going to rhyme you. Hi, Judy. Nice to see you up and around. First Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court. John Jay. Name of an Olympic gold medalist who was also a Nobel Prize winner. Spock, the one with the small ears, Benjamin. Date, time, and place of next week's Honor Society dance. Give me a hint. Just kidding. Wednesday, 8 p.m., Shaver Hall. Henry, you remembered. You really did. It's progress. Oh, Henry. Oh, Henry. So what was that over? That's my prize from the publisher's clearinghouse. Ah. What can I do for you, Dean Blunt? I need to set up a meeting with you and Professor Quilty. Quilty? What? He's the one who's going to be taking over your classes next week. Quilty's going to take over my classes. Yeah. Dean Blonde, Quilty falls asleep during fireworks displays. He's been known to nap while swimming. You didn't give me much notice, Henry. Oh, you sly fox. You're doing it again. I am? You are such a master of this kind of thing. Oh, well, thank you. 
You know that I won't have a toad like Quilty take over my classes for a week, and you also know that Jack Brooker is going to be available since I'm taking over for him at Rhinebloom, and you're wondering, will I ask Jack to take over my classes? Maybe Rhinebloom will hear about it, and they'll throw a couple of grants our way. Rhinebloom? I toss a grant our way? Oh, don't you play the fool with me, you crafty, cunning manipulator, you. <laughs> I wasn't playing. Okay, I give, I know, and I'm outnumbered. I'll talk to Jack, see what I can do. As for the grant, who can tell? But yeah. you're going to have to break the news to Quilty because I will not be accused of shattering that poor old man's heart. You <laughs> silver tongue devil, you! Oh, oh, oh. But it's the only way this trade's gonna work. I'm not gonna have my classes taken over by a stone brain like Quilty. Yeah, you foul up a computer, you can reprogram. I screw up a student, they turn bad. They steal hubcaps, they think up game shows. Either you take my classes or you take me back. Your call. Fine. Great. How do I look? Like I should order two pounds of ground round from you. Hi. Hey, now that we're on the premises and all, can you tell me what this project is I'm working on? I don't really know. No one does. No one has a big picture. We just all work on our particular segment. That holds down the security risk. You know, it's just the company trying to keep everything under wraps until we have a demonstration for some prospective buyers. Demonstration of what? Uh, right. You don't know. You don't have the big picture. The man you need to talk to is Dr. Dark. He'll explain everything and go through the whole security thing. Dr. Dark? Yeah. A rose by any other name. Wish me luck. Okay, guy. Vaya con Dios. Oh, you got that security admittance card I gave you? Henry, when you put the card in, make sure you put... Up. It's a shame it happened, but you weren't hurt, and chances are security needed the drill. Yeah, right. It will take you some time to become oriented to the way we do things around here. That's only natural. Please, don't be afraid to ask questions. What are they doing in there? Can't tell you that. The thing I'm working on, is it medical? You have no need to know that. Well, what I mean is... Hacker! I beg your pardon? Ah, Hacker, I want you to meet someone. Crawford, Hacker. Hacker? Crawford. Hacker, dark, kidding, right? We don't kid much at Rhinebloom. Crawford's a kidder. Ah, you're the one taking over for Jack Brooker. Yeah, I can't Brooker tell you. was a kidder. Now he leaves and sends us another kidder. Huh. Nice talking to you. Fun guy. This way. NIK 7400. Some of the people around here like to call it Nick, but I don't like to call it that, so I suggest that you don't call it that. All right. Did Dr. Brooker give you the working parameters? Yeah, I got them. Excellent. Follow the instructions exactly. Stay inside the parameters. Never go outside the parameters. Guess that's why they call them parameters. More kidding. I like you. Before there was a burst of cyclotron, before there were particle accelerators at all, they 
predicted things that have been proven time and time again in the world of physics. Now we know there are quarks, bosons, mesons, neutrinos. They travel everywhere, and at the speed of light. Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe was a You let him take over your classes? Sure. Why not? I mean, he knows the subject. Did Dean Blunt approve the switch? Oh, yeah. In fact, he thinks it's his idea. Would you like some wine? You're changing the subject. No, I'm not. I'm trying, but I'm not having much luck. Henry, you're distracted. Yeah, I guess I am. Was the day at Rheinbloom Lab really that bad? It was disappointing. I don't know, maybe I built up a lot of false expectations. I thought it was going to be creative and challenging, exciting. But these people, they don't like questions. They don't like initiative. It's as if they don't like life. You know, it's not good to wolf your food. Okay, Nick, let's see what you're made of. Give me the ratio of equipment function to the power output. Add input data. Okay, then, uh... Give me the probability of equipment malfunction based on power requirements. Not within project parameters. How is it going this morning? Well, all right. I mean, I've made some headway on the figures, but I can't get much further if I don't have some information on this overall project. But that's the way we like it. Parameters, Dr. Crawford. Parameters. And don't forget our deadline. On Thursday, we demonstrate the entire project to a lot of prospective buyers. I want it to work perfectly. All of us at Rheinbloom want it to work perfectly. Nothing's perfect, Dr. Dark. I'm delighted the classes are going well for you. I've got to admit it's a little difficult for me without Henry in my life. You know what I mean? That's understandable. You know, you're a lady who misses her guy. Is he my guy, Jack? I mean, I sometimes feel like I come after Albert the computer, Newton the dog, whatever new twist he's put on Flubber. What's Flubber? Uh, you're right. What is flubber indeed? And what does all of this mean in the long run? Here today, gone tomorrow, tempest fugit. Power to the people, button up your overcoat, Manny Moe and Jack. 
Ellen. Uh, this has helped, Jack. I, I really appreciate this. I was feeling a little down. But as you say, what is flubber? I didn't say it. You're Look, the one who... you're okay. I'm okay. And uh, frankly, my dear, let the rest of the world eat liver and lima beans. Thanks for your help, Jack. Anytime. There's something you should see. Someone's coloring outside the lines, sending data out. on that line. Find the receiving terminal and confuse it. How confused do you want it? I want you to make his terminal terminal. All right, Albert. Now come to life, boy. Come on, Albert. Come on. Table for two, sir? Yeah, whatever. I'm working. Ah, uh, Jack, did you play with Albert today? No, not me. Why? I don't know. He seems tired. Iron deficient. Well, it's probably you, not him. Quick transfusion of pepperoni will surely do the trick. Hmm. Uh-uh. This isn't for you. Go over there. Take over for me now, buddy. Oh, no, not me. You're much better suited for this. No, Jack, look, the dance starts at 8 o'clock. I promised Ellen that I would be Yeah, there. but you got the eye of the tiger. Don't let it go now, man. No, Jack, you don't understand. She's not going to kill me quickly. I this know. is going to be slow. I this know. This is going to be painful. But your pal is going to cover for you. I'm going to go talk to her, tell her you're going to be there in a couple hours. They're going to take the heat. No, Jack, Explain not... it's my fault. It's just like the old days. Go, go, go. Come on, man. Do me proud. <laughs> your buddy's got you covered, okay? Well, okay. Let's try something completely different. Give me the extreme variables in the data scan. I am Ray Emission. Electromagnetic fluctuation. Screwball. What are you talking about? Merely dots and dotsy dots and little lambs eat daily. Stop screwing around, Albert. How to express my condition? Something is definitely wrong. Hold, hold on, Albert. Hold on. You, you, you're going to be all right. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna get some help. Thank you. You just gotta 
few things to go over with Albert. He'll be here in a minute. Well, I've heard this song before. He gets in front of that computer, he just zones out. Something you either love about him or hate about him. Right now, I'm working on it. <laughs> well, I'm in here. About the work, I mean. There's a time I could get wrapped up like that myself. Not anymore. Now that's more my speed. Shall we dance? I'd love to. <laughs> Mind if I cut in? Not at all. Jack, we gotta talk. Henry. Who leads here? I wanna know what it is that you've been doing with Albert. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh how good to see everyone enjoying them, sir. Uh, Henry, I, I'm glad you included me in this, but I'm gonna go get a cold drink. I hope I didn't interrupt anything. Dean, I'm sorry, but we have to talk. Oh, good. Who well, is it about the Rheinblum grant? Because I called them up, and they refused to come up with a single penny. No, it's about what he's been doing with Albert. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah? Well, then why is he acting so confused, huh? All I did was download a little data from Rheinblum. You did what? <laughs> download, whatever that means. It's probably just some sort of bug or something. Oh, the weather we've been having, that's hardly surprising. I'll tell you what it is. You haven't been leveling with me, Jack. Something is happening at Rheinblum, and you're not telling me. Let me just see if I can help Albert first. Excuse us, Dean. Oh. For, for a big man, that's surprisingly graceful. Oh, Alan, There's I... a problem. Yes. And... and it involves Albert. Yes. And... and you're very, very sorry, but you have to leave now. Yes. Well, you better get going. Yes. I don't know how I do it. It's a gift. Never been like this before? Never. What kind of data from the foundation did you put in? I do some stuff from your files and some material I got from some other people working on the project. Wait a second. Did you use the foundation modem to send it? Yeah. Oh, God. He must have traced the number and put something in his operating system. Memories that is down 67%. It's a virus, Henry. There's nothing I can do. Nothing you can do? Nothing you can do? Jack, this is Henry. I know you. I've seen you work and rework a system like that like it was so much tinker toys. Come on! There's nothing you can't do! Jack, you're the best. You're the only one in this room who can save him, and you have got to save him! Do it for yourself. No way. 
away. It's not over yet. Henry, get me a soldering iron. Hang on, Albert, hang on. We're on the way. Don't go belly up on us now, buddy. Henry, Henry. Soldering iron, quick, man. Surgery is one of my... What's this supposed to do? But if I hooked it up to... Uh-oh. Not there. Whoa. Okay, plan B. We reattach the connectors, leaving the memory core. Whoa! Pressure builds diamonds. All done. Is he all right? Uh, let's find out. <laughs> He's gone. Henry, I don't understand. It sh should have worked. It's over. I mean it. That, that really should have worked. You tried. Why is it so dark in here? Please adjust my brightness level. Thank you. Now, then. Where were we? Ha! Ho, ho, ho! Yeah! Yeah! We did it! <laughs> Whoa! You did it, man! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! You saved him, Jack. <laughs> yeah. I know it's just a computer. No feelings, but... <laughs> hey, there are feelings involved. Ours. I used you, Henry. You what? Something big going on with that project. That's why all the security. The more I found out bit by bit, the more worried I got. Worried about what? If I figured out what was going on, it was something awful. Then I could either keep my mouth shut and blow the whistle. If I keep my mouth shut, well, it's hard to shave if you can't face yourself in the mirror. I blow the whistle. You and I know what happens to whistleblowers. They get sent to outer Slobovia. And you with a kid on the way? Yeah. So I thought I'd get you in there. Find out what's going on. Maybe take a little bit of the heat. I'd still have a job. I'm sorry, Henry. Sorry than I can say. Well, you got scared, huh? That happens to everybody. But then you got honest. And that happens to very few. Oh, Albert's on to something. Hydraulic pump lifts laser lens. Laser lens? High intensity focus. Heat approaching 200 Celsius. Wow. Albert. What the heck is this thing? This thing is a weapon. A big. Big. Weapon.
This is a major weapon systems, Jack. Albert's got it nailed. The demonstration's tomorrow morning. They've got potential buyers coming in from all over the world. Well, I think we ought to get in there tonight. Make a little adjustment in their demonstration. You'll never get past the security guards in this. Hey, hey, we're not going past them. We're going over them. Totally illogical, dude. Oh, yeah. It has something to do with the kinetic plasticity of a rubber and metastable compound that results from the formula subjected to precise and carefully timed dosages of dry heat. Yeah, I pretty much figured that. Now they tell me. and enjoy it, Jack. I've done some of my best thinking up here. What do you think about it? About whether or not I remember how to land this thing. There it is. You think the government knows about Rheinblum developing a weapon? Maybe some government does. But I'll bet our government isn't one of them. do our thing. Follow me. Have a plan? Sure. Oh, I don't know. It looks like all it needs is a little tweaking with to me. Hold it right there. This is a restricted area. You're telling me? I'm Jack Brooker, head of energy research. This is Dr. Crawford, my associate. We're here to make a few minor adjustments for tomorrow's demonstration. Well, nobody told me about this. This project is on a need-to-know basis. You should know that. Before now, you didn't need to know. But I know you have top security clearance, so now you need to know, okay? Just so you know. Can you hold this? Yes, sir. Wow, look at this thing. This is a laser with electromagnetic wave disturbance. And there's a problem. Right. There's a problem. See that we're not disturbed. Right. Well, we could take it apart. No, no, they just put it back together. What we need... <laughs> From flubber to flat. Oh, 
Green. Affirmative. Excellent. I'd like to welcome our friends from overseas to this mating demonstration of the XR-4B Star Ray System, a system monitored by the equally incredible MIK-7400 computer, a marriage made in uh, high-tech heaven. <laughs> I could go into more detail about this incredible device, but I prefer to let it speak, or rather act, for itself. Gentlemen, the XR-4B Star Ray. Computer controlled and capable of sustained high speeds over all sorts of terrain. This is a breakthrough killing device. Laser lethal and user friendly. We know you'll want it in your arsenal before the other fellow puts it in his. Star Ray, take a bow. Now a brief demonstration of the anti-personnel capability we're talking about here. No, wait, put that on the barrel. You nigger! you guys? Well, we thought we'd enroll in a Lamaze class, spend a couple of months getting my head together, and try and find a lab that will hire an ectomorphic idealist. Jack, you're not an ectomorph. I most certainly am. No, you always used to get confused about that. You're an endomorph. You were the one that got it wrong in school, and you can never name the Great Lakes either. Oh, get real. You always forgot one. Which one? I'm not going to tell you what kind of jerk do you think I am. An endomorphic jerk. Name the Great Lakes. I dare you. I don't feel like it. You can't do it. I can too. Huron. Superior. Ontario. Michigan. And? And? Oh, 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 oh. 